topics and then explore it in our personal life. So today we're going to talk about carrier behavior. So when we think back to the COVID days, some of those carriers were really quite naughty, weren't they? They put their prices up, they didn't ship our cargo. And the funny thing was that actually in some instances, those carriers did stick with their agreed contracts. So they kept the lower prices and they shipped the cargo. So what I noticed in my logistics work was that the same carrier would behave in a different way with different clients that have a different attitude towards those clients. So why, why is that? So partly that will be obviously because of the relationship that the shipper had with the carrier. Um, also the client's behavior. So what was their attitude? And then of course the attitude of the individual account managers. So I suppose we could sort of say that our behavior is sort of our attitude, right? And our behavior is actually dictated by our attitude. So what is attitude? Well, attitude is the composite of our thoughts, our feelings, and our action. It's basically how our mind and body is working together. So the thing is that your thoughts will always create a feeling. Your thoughts create an image and the image creates the feeling. The feeling controls our actions. Now there's the law of uh, cause and effect. So every action that we take will have a reaction and it's that reaction that we would call our results in our life. So the thing is, if you change your attitude, then you're going to change the results that you're getting. And Wayne Dyer said, I might have mentioned this one before, but I absolutely love it because it is so true. If you change the way you look at a thing, the thing that you look at changes. And it's so true. So what is your attitude? So if there is a situation that is not quite going how you want it to go, what is your attitude towards that? Do you give up? If you're on your way to your goal and it gets hard, do you give up? Or do you find a way to push through? What's your attitude towards other people? If somebody is rude to you, are you rude back? Or do you smile and say, mm, that's interesting. I haven't looked at it like that before. If somebody's angry at you and shouts at you, do you shout back? Or do you smile and just send them love? And most importantly, really, is what's your attitude towards yourself? Do you criticize yourself? Do you find yourself never good enough? Or do you empower yourself? Do you praise yourself? Do you celebrate your successes? Now, see, the thing is that we're part of nature and nature is progressive. It is for life. It is for well-being. So ask yourself this question. When something happens, do you think that things happen to you or do you think that things happen for you? So bear in mind that life is for well-being Things always happen for you. So what if you took that attitude that whatever happens, it happens for you? You have a very, very different reaction, wouldn't you, really? So think of a situation right now in your life that isn't quite how you want it to be. And ask yourself, am I thinking that this is happening to me? Am I being a victim here? Because being a victim is very disabling. Now, change that around and start to think, okay, well, maybe this is happening for me because that's way more empowering. Even just thinking that and saying that feels way more empowering, right? And it allows you to then focus on the opportunity that might be there. And the two are very different. So believing that something is happening for you will make you look at the positive side of it. You will take a very, very different action. And of course, then you're going to get a very, very different and way more positive result. So really, basically, your attitude determines the nature of the ideas and the thoughts that you permit yourself to become emotionally involved with. You, you know, what, what are the thoughts and the ideas that you allow yourself to keep thinking about, positive or negative? So really, really important to choose your attitude. And you can choose your attitude every time, every minute, every second of the day. Right? Because no one can actually make you think anything. Nobody can make you feel anything. You are responsible for choosing what you choose to think and what you choose to feel. And so you're responsible for your behavior and for your own attitude. And it's really the attitude is the magic word. Because if you improve your attitude, the world around you will totally change its attitude towards you. Anyway, thought I'd leave you with that one to ponder. That's it for today. 
thank you for being here. And I will see you next week when we're going to talk about just in time deliveries. Same place, same time. Bon appetit, or as we say in Holland, eet smakelijk. See you soon.